It is recommended that you guys pray the Taraweeh at home soon after Isha, after you finish the Isha prayer and the Sunnah to Rakaz. If the family father knows how to read Quran, he doesn't have to be a Hafiz. He should lead the prayer with his wife and his kids. Maybe the parents are living in the same house. If you have a maid, lead the prayer with all of them. And if you're not a Hafiz and you're interested to finish the whole Quran, which would require you to recite one part of the Quran uh, every night, it's easy and affordable. You can either carry a Mus'haf, you can leave the Mus'haf open on a tripod, or you can simply carry your phone, which has the soft copy of the Quran. So with a single hand, you can flip the pages if you're interested. Um, those who follow the madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa and they perceive it dislike to hold the Quran while praying, they can keep the Quran open in front of them. And there are different copies of the Quran which have the whole para in one page. So if you recite uh, the two pages in the two rakahs, you don't have to flip any pages and your hands will be on your chest and you will not keep busy with uh, the, you know, flipping the pages or carrying the mushaf or anything of that sort, insha'Allah. Uh, I highly recommend that between the four rakahs, you pray two rakahs, then two rakahs. Each rakah you recite one ruba, so that would give you by the end of the eight rakahs, one para, insha'Allah. Then you pray the water, three rakahs, either all together with one tashahud and taslim by the end, or you can simply pray uh, three rakahs, two by themselves with tashahud and taslim by the end, then one by itself, and in it you recite Surah Al-Fatiha, then Surah Al-Ikhlas, Qul Hu Allahu Ahad. Or if you're interested, you can recite the three last chapters of the Quran. Then you make Qunut. Al-Qunut is to supplicate, simple dua. If you know some by the heart, fine. If you don't, that is perfectly fine to skip it because it's a sunnah. It is not mandatory to recite the Qunut in the wit. It's a sunnah and you can just memorize the minimum dua, Allahumma hdina fi man hadayt, wa aafina fi man aafayt, which I believe even average Muslim knows this dua by heart because we frequently hear it from the imam, whether in the haram or uh, in our local uh, masajid. It's called taraweeh because we take a break between four rakahs and four rakahs. So you pray two by two, and then after the uh, fourth rakah, Maybe one of your children will give a khatira, train them to recite a hadith or ayah of the Quran, and it is perfectly fine to add to what they say. So uh, enjoy your staying at home. Enjoy for the first time leading your family, if it is the first time for you, leading uh, your family and your children in the tarawih prayer. And if we're going to do that in the tarawih, then it is more worthy with all the five daily